This video is going to show how easy it is to program the Flocon SM digital actuator. Right now the unit doesn't have any power on it and I'm getting ready to uh, put 24 volts to it. Here we go. As soon as you put 24 volts to it, the screen's going to light up and it's going to go into a calibration mode. The actuator is actually going to stroke the valve closed and it's going to uh, be able to program itself to find out uh, where the top and bottom uh, stroke values are. Now to actually start programming, the right arrow key and the left arrow key right here, you actually punch for about six seconds. There we go. It immediately goes into what language uh, we're going to choose and here in the United States English is the only choice. So I'm going to immediately go to the next screen. This is where you select what valve it's on. When you first get the unit and put the actuator on the valve, you need to look to see what valve it's on. We have several different choices. Uh, there's a SM 2.1 and you can see the different choices we have. I'm going to go back to 1.1 because that's what I know the valve that I have it sitting on is. Alright, next screen. This is where you can choose liters or gallons. Right now it's on GPM, but if you want a liters per second, there you go. Just hit the switch down, there's liters per hour, and I'm back to GPM. Next screen. This is where you, if you want to select a flush mode. I have it disabled and I'm going to keep it disabled because I've never used a flush mode. This is where you select the signal input. 2 to 10 uh, is a uh, very common input. You can also choose digital, 4 to 20 milliamp. One thing I want to point out though on the 2 to 10, this is also where you choose 0 to 10 and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you have a control system that has a 0 to 10 volt signal, uh, this is where you do it. So I'm going to choose that, hit the next arrow. Alright, this is where you set the minimum voltage. So if you have a 0 to 10, you put this on 0. If you have a 2 to 10 volt input, you set this to 2. And there you go, there's 2. I'm going to go back to 0 because uh, I use a lot of 0 to 10 volts myself. There you go, next screen. This is where you set the upper limit, the maximum voltage input, which is on 10. Next screen. This is the selection process for the feedback signal. AU means automatic. That means whatever signal you have coming in, you will also have it being fed back. You also have choices of 4 to 20 milliamp, 0 to 10, 2 to 10, and I'm going to keep it on automatic. Next screen. This is where you can choose the uh, maximum GPN for this PICV valve. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the button up to find out what the maximum is on this valve and it looks like it's a 10.9 GPM so I'm gonna pretend the engineer is calling for something less and punch it down. There's 10.2 GPM for the maximum flow that this valve will allow. Uh, I need to clarify while it's operating under the uh, stated differential pressure ranges that we give this valve, I believe, is 4.4 to 58 pounds differential. All right, next screen. Normally closed, it says. This is where you choose whether you want the valve to be normally open or normally closed. There's normally open and there's normally closed. I'm going to keep it normally closed. Next screen. This is if you want to activate a password. If you want this actuator to have its own password, this is where you can do so. I'm going to keep it disabled. Now we're back to the beginning. We're all done. I'm going to push the left and right arrow keys again for about six seconds, and we're all done. And right now it says the control signal is not available, uh, and that's because I don't actually have a control signal hooked up to it right now during this video. But that is how easy it is to program the Flocon SM digital actuator.